This episode is sponsored by Avid and Universal Audio. Avid was so gracious to send us the Inbox Studio to record our podcast, and Universal Audio sent over the SD1 microphone to record. Thank you so much to these two platforms for believing in us and seeing the value in our podcast and our platform. So, without further ado, let's get on to the episode. Everybody was hating on it, and I was like, you know what, let me listen. All right, last okay. pre-question. Who's, the, who's the greatest rapper man. to you? Okay. The greatest rapper ever. All right, so you can stop right there, because I'm going to introduce the hell out of this podcast Okay, right here we go. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to start this. So what's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Devon Terrell, uh, from the My Audio Nerds podcast, the podcast for audio nerds like yourself. Now, this episode is extra, extra special Super to nice. all of us, because... We have the pleasure of having two people with us today yep. that we are major, major fans for. Uh, I'll, I'll just run it back. When we first hit you guys, we dead were like, dog. Like, we were really nervous. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, yeah. that's how serious it was. Like, we were like, damn, you think they take it serious enough to, like, come yeah. talk to us and stuff like that? So, without further ado, and before I introduce even my co-host, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to introduce our guest. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Decap and L. Dre, dude. Thank you, thank oh you, man, thank you. Uh, you know, so uh, obviously we're at NAMM and stuff like that, and uh, and know, I'm LJ. I use uh, FL Studio. Yeah, you know, let's let's let's, uh, <laughs> let's introduce you guys. Yeah. So obviously we got my guy over here. Um, I feel like I'm gonna get jumped this episode. Uh, so I brought the ice with me, but um, <laughs> yeah, I'm LJ. I use FL Studio. I'm not gonna talk crazy shit today. Yeah, I got it. I appreciate you. And to the left of me, man, today's a momentous day. <laughs> <laughs> Today is indeed a momentous day. The Ableton affiliates have actually just, you know, one, one day we're gonna we're, we're gonna make an exception for Amorphous and and bring them through. There's four Ableton people on this I'm roster not gonna lie, right now. Out of man. all of us that have had like allies like on this we podcast, pack, you've we, had the we most. We pack the both of you up. That's very true. Like have I'm we gonna give only gonna get better. We've never had an FL guy in the pod. No, heck no. No, we haven't. No. We haven't. For sure. Heck, heck no. yeah. But you know, um, Ableton, Ableton astronauts here, you know, Corey Taylor just, just here to like really bask in the greatness of both Decap and Eldrin. That's right. Let's go. Let's go. Ableton so game. here, man. So the first question so I always like to ask everybody that comes yeah. is basically, okay, so I want you to tell me uh, your DAW that you first started in and give me your journey. So what was the first DAW you started in? And then tell me where the journey landed as far as the one you're using now. First of all, I just want to say thanks for having me because this is my favorite podcast. Yo, Straight thank up. You, I just want to say it. Thank I you, love, man. I love this podcast. Thank you. This dude. podcast, I, I love listening to it. It's right. fun. Right. It's dope. It's what we talk about. It's what we get into. Yeah, and man. it's, yeah, just thank, thank you. Thank you, man. It really means yeah. a lot. Like when you guys comment, I was dog, excited man. when you hit me up about so, it. I was they, like, this is fun. I was like, <laughs> I was like, dope. Yeah. They said yes. Like they said yes. Like no problem. Y'all was like, yeah, sure. It was, was instant, like, dude. Yeah, it was instant. So now I appreciate you again. But yeah, tell us your journey. Like I want to know DAW. I mean, I started out like even before DAW, like, I, I was using, you know, four track tape deck in the early oh. days. And then uh, my first actual program was Cool Edit Pro. Wow. wow. Yeah. We, I Holy used to crap. use that in college, dude. Yep. We oh, might be shit. around the same age. <laughs> <laughs> this is dope. This is dope. Yeah. So, so Cool Edit, um, I used to like, I started out by, you know, the way we did it was we would copy and paste like kicks, snares, hi-hats yeah, in the grid. Yeah, the actual audio files. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And um, and loop it and, right. you know, do everything by hand, chop a sample by hand. Right. And, you know, and then I moved from Cool Edit and then I, let's see, from Cool Edit. Where did you go to? I went, I was in between, and then I went to Reason. Oh, okay, gotcha. Cool Edit to Reason. And right. then like after Reason, uh -huh. I went to the MPC. Gotcha. I had a 4,000, and before that, I had a 2,000 for a little bit. And then from there, um, I wanted I wanted to run more VSTs. Like, that was my thing. Right, and, right, right. And Reason at the time didn't do VSTs, so yeah. I needed a different a different one. So right. that's when I went to Ableton, because Ableton had the most similar workflow to me as, like, the MPC. Interesting. Yeah. So, okay, so you know what that's funny to think about? Like, a lot of the... A lot, I bet you we'll see a bunch of, a lot of the NPC guys are probably using Ableton because of the fami familiarity of it as far as that's concerned. That's kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. right. So my man went from all of those dogs yeah. and landed in the Ableton. It's crazy. I mean, I like he's, he's kind of FL2, but I'm going to let him. <laughs> we not, we not going to do that. We, yeah, listen, yeah, by yeah. the way, we had a podcast before this podcast started, uh, yeah. but we're not going to talk about it. We had so about long. three of them. Yeah, yeah we had like three or four of them. But, uh, During setup. <laughs> uh, let's move on over to Eldre. Eldre, uh, tell us your journey as far as Dawes are concerned. Where did you start and then where did you end up? Um, it's tough to say where I started. I Because I kind of tried a bunch in uh -huh. the very beginning. So um, 
I want to give a shout out to LMMS. That's like the real. Holy shit. I want to say like wow. middle, middle school. I heard of that name in, in, in a minute, what, bro. What is the, what's the name of that? LMMS. Uh, Element, what is LMMS. LMMS. Yeah. LMMS. Yeah. LMMS. It's, by, it's by the people that make uh, FL. Wait, you. It's really it? by Image Line. Wow. Yeah. This is Image new. Line made. Yeah, yeah. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. I didn't know that. Hold on. Like, it was so normal. I was like, yeah. dude, what is that? Love this. Bro, what? Yeah. That's a I don't G know what that is. Bro? It's hard. Dude, that's a D gem, bro. Okay. LMS but I don't know. I, I don't like know the, Image Line made that. It's, it's FL light, 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 light. It's FL <laughs> super light. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's like FL mobile. Middle school. Randomly, before I wanted to be a producer, there right. was just like a I just random class at school where they were teaching production, uh -huh. and that's what we were using. So technically, I'd say that's my first. But when I actually wanted to be a producer, uh -huh. GarageBand on the iPhone, Ooh. on the iPhone, like or iPod, iPhone. no iPod Touch at the time. So Ooh. that, that the was iPod. the real like it was it was GarageBand, Nano Studio. And I these like I know Nano Studio. Yeah, just apps. Apps right. is really mm -hmm. what made it for me. And then eventually, my mom got me the uh, Machine Micro. Oh, um, nice. And then so you know I'm using Machine because that's yeah. the doll with it. Right. So that was my real first on a computer. Right. And then I went to LA Recording School and I got Logic. Right. There started Logic. I like Logic a lot. So same, I was same. I was using Logic for a long time. Right. But then they also gave us Ableton. And they taught mm. us it a little bit, but uh -huh. I was still Team Logic. Right. But after college, I started getting to Ableton like heavy. Got you. Yeah, it was like a good mix for me. Like for me personally, it had all the ele it kind of had the elements of machine and logic. Right. Put together and then some. Right. So that's really what yeah. how you landed and stuff. Yeah, and so, I stuck with it. You know what's so funny? Like le like through learning about people's journeys, it kind of helps me understand like how people have chosen like their dogs. Like when we were off mic, we were talking about how like it's kind of hard to start a doll right now because it's kind of like all the countries have been made, right? It's right. like, okay, mm -hmm. I'm Ableton Nation, I'm this. So Thanks. it's like we've all kind of found our niche as far as what we came from. So it's like you saw Machine had a familiarity with the Ableton and stuff like that. For me, I've just been in Pro Tools my whole life. I was in Cool Edit as well. Right. So I wasn't really producing like that yet. So for me, I was just, I just need to record. So yeah. when I got Pro Tools, it was a rap and then the inbox came out. And that's when it was, obviously that was a game changer, dude. Like, because that allowed mm -hmm. me to get into it for like, what was that, like a hundred bucks? Like I can yeah, get an interface, right. that was insane. Why did we, why don't we ever talk about the death of Cool Edit? Because I feel like everyone started mm. with Cool Edit. Wasn't Cool, was Cool Edit free? Cool no. It wasn't? No, no. There was a demo version of it, but you had to pay for the pro. Mm -hmm. Oh, say, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. I, I know I, I didn't pay. You know what? It was back in the day on a PC. It was, it was a crack. Yeah. I Peter, 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 it was a crack. Peter Quisgard. What? Ooh. Yeah, Peter wow. Quisgard. That was the crack thing. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. Yeah, yeah. Keep oh that in mind, gosh. folks. You know FL Studio? It, you, you would have some guy's name in the corner? Like, oh, no, yeah. no. We got, that yeah. that was in the early days. Like I couldn't afford software starting out those early days. So it's like... Yeah, yeah, you have. Y'all might have oh, stopped cool. cracking, but from somebody who was re not recently, but <laughs> yeah, recently yeah, cracking. Right. Right. I would say maybe at 2017, 2016, 2015. Uh -huh. Allegedly. Um, no, they created <laughs> this is companies. So you know who you go to. Shout out to R2R. Shout out to AIR. Shout out to. Um, they're all teams. <laughs> Team R2R. Oh, it's a federal all indictment. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can I tell you something? Yeah. What? When this episode comes out, uh -huh. check the comments. They'll know what I'm talking about. Of course they Team yeah. R2R was the reason why hey, everyone had... Uh, we know, yeah. Team R2R was the reason folks. everyone had Nexus 2. That's true, too. And a lot of people went crazy when we said it today. So, yeah. with that being said, yeah, LG, yeah. can you please give us a one gotta go? I would love to um, get a one gotta go for these this guys. So, I got one gotta goes, but we're gonna do a rapid fire. All right? So, one... One, one, one. We're going to start with DCAP, then go to you. Okay. Uh, DCAP, 808 versus synth bass. 808. Ooh. Oh, that was easy. Okay. Damn. Yeah. El Dre, Novation versus Akai. One that has to go? Yeah. Uh, Novation. Or pick, pick one. Novation got to go. Oh, okay. With ease. Oh, Yo, I, I easy, meant synth bass got to go. Oh, synth bass got to go. No, yeah, synth bass got to go. I'm taking okay. the 808. He's not yeah. taking the 808. Okay, okay. 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 Um, synth bass got to go. Drums that knock. Yeah, that's good. Right? <laughs> that was easy. Good yeah, yeah. Good like, come yeah. on. Okay, um, DCAP, Spectrosonics versus Native Instruments. Mm -hmm. Which Ooh. one do I? Which one gotta go? Uh, you can just pick one, honestly. Which one you? Which one you? Yeah. Which one? Which, which one will you keep? <laughs> keep, yeah. Which oh, one man. you keep it? Gotcha. Oh man, that's tough. I'm gonna keep spectr Spectrosonics. Ooh, Spectrosonics. Yeah. No, no contact. You can't let it go, dog. I'm gonna keep that's Spectrosonics. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Aldre, Lounge Lizard versus Keyscape. Ooh. I mean, look, 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 
look. That's that's this people good. are gonna think I'm silly, but I'm taking lounge lizards. <laughs> they're gonna Wait, think I'm silly relax. as hell for that. Okay, dude. Wow. Are you serious? It's bro, it's just like it's so simple, it's so easy. It's just <laughs> like but you just the pull quality, it up. It's just like the quality, man. I don't even change presets. I just pull up the exact <laughs> no, same. No, you just pull them up. Yeah, that's yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I, I'm so sorry. I'm not gonna lie. This is actually like Eldre inspired me to get to get the. I've been telling you about that yeah. lounge lizard. Yeah, lounge lizard. It's I, like a rose I don't here. pick up Keyscape because of that reason. I'm like, but really, literally every week I'm like, all right, simple. I think this is the yeah. week I pick mm -hmm. up Keyscape. Finds just a new preset in lounge lizard. I'm like, I don't gotta pick up Keyscape. These? Who makes lounge right. lizard? Uh, who? Acoustica no. something. Ace, Acoustia yeah, yeah. applied acoustica something. Applied acoustica. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Okay, I have seen that. I've seen yeah. that. Nah. You're mad cool. You don't use purity. I would. I, I mean, I have Keyscape. Yeah. It's just you know I use Omnisphere and mm -hmm. then Keyscape is, is in Omnisphere and Omnisphere is yeah. ah, a lot going on. Right. Right. So right, when actually. I just want. Uh, clean mm -hmm. roads. I'm just yeah, using that. Let's go straight there, and it's lighter. Yeah, it's just yeah. use. So I'm sure. That's that on. Interesting. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. I, I've never, I, bro, I've never used. You never heard lounge 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 I used to use it back in the day. Oh, I, I use roads too. Before I found the okay. Keyscape. I mean, before I bought Keyscape. <laughs> good, Addictive good Keys good is game. another good roads. Like you just load it up. Yeah, I like those. Yeah, I've used them before. I think we used drums too. Like I'm about to say, and drums. Yeah, yeah. Addictive drums. I heard it's super good. Like you've been, he's been putting me onto some drum plugin. What was the drum plugin that you was putting me on? Tempo by Teltone Audio. Yeah, by Teltone. It's really T Y M P O. Yes. Yeah. I haven't tried it, but I heard about it. Yeah, yeah. We've seen the ads. Yo, the ads. Yo, the power of ads. They guess what? I'm not gonna lie. They guess what? Yo, Facebook knows. To sell my data specifically, because they know I be buying, bro. Right. I really be copping, because yeah. I've probably bought like six new instrument plugins right. in like the last month, which is ridiculous. And really, but I'm rocking with all of them. I get like that Shout too. Out to all of when them. I'm not inspired, I, I start mm -hmm. spending money. Like, yeah, like when I'm like looking for new inspiration, I wind up mm -hmm. just like buying a bunch of stuff and stuff like that. Did you finish your one gotta goes? Because I oh, didn't no, want to ask we're still, him. Still here. We're still gotcha. Here. So you know. So, um, so, you, you still going? Yeah, oh, still yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, shoot. No, All right, it's DCAP's turn. All right, DCAP, Valhalla versus Pro R. Whoa. I love Fab Filter, but I'm taking uh, You're going with Valhalla. Valhalla. Dan, I'm taking ooh. Valhalla. You know, yo, you know what's crazy? Oh, I, I'm a Fab Filter like, guy. Like, I used the Pro R to death. And yeah. I, I, came, I went from the Valhalla to the Pro R. Dog, the other day I went back. <laughs> yeah. That seventies mm -hmm. something about that seventies preset, like right. that. That's something about it. It just yeah. has a weird whack sound to it. That can sounds I say like amazing. Mm -hmm. what? I think also too, their interface is really just like it's very easy. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. It's yeah. very easy once you like sit with it like for just about thirty minutes. It's very easy. Yeah, totally even just going from the nine the modern setting, the eighties and the seven, bro, it's a huge difference. And it's like, oh yeah, I get what I want. Like if I want for more sure. of like that spring reverby sound, I'll go to the eighties <laughs> sound. And then if I want like, dude, I just want like a lush reverb, seventies, mm -hmm. dude. Like can I can snack. I caveat totally. your question yeah. real quick, Levin? Sure. Um. Between, because I know that both of you guys have used Valhalla at some point. What is the least used year preset between 70s, 80s, and now? I'm going to keep it 100. Like when I use Valhalla, the I least. just love the stock oh, the presets. Now, you love that 70s. 70s? If you don't use orange, it's you're wild. Orange. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I feel like every, orange I've never good. seen, I barely seen, I think I've seen like Elangelo maybe use uh, now. Like, like, now. The eight, like the now. Or, I've, I've never, never seen I 80s. I don't use the now. 80s is like purple, now. right? It's like purple, yeah. I like 80s. I like 80s. Springy. For certain things. For certain things. Yes. For certain things. It's like really springy, like slaps. Like it, like it's real springy sounding. It's just a 70s. It's just, I don't know. Something about that 70s. It's very good. Yeah, totally. Eldre, forgive me. Because these don't go together, but I'm <laughs> um, RC20 versus Arcade. Oh, Ooh. come on, dude. That's <laughs> yeah, but no, this, that's a good first one for him. All, that's a great one for him. I'm going to let you, let you yeah. answer first. For him specifically, it makes This, this is, is a great duh. one. Yeah. It's a duh for him. Yeah, it it's, it's not a, it's the reason why it's not a duh is because, like, if I'm thinking of the alternatives, oh. because there are alternatives to oh. RC20 that could will do right but arcade is like i mean it's different it, yeah. it's sorry mm. and they so, keep loading mm -hmm. you with new presets and stuff like that yeah, so it's like yeah, yeah, really like, yeah so what you, so which one but if you had to choose if i really really had to uh -huh. i'm gonna stick with arcade for it fire that. and i'm that. that. such an advocate for arcade bro mm -hmm. i love it it keeps arcade me inspired yeah, yeah, here, yeah, you know what that. all right decap uh i'll put no 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 because you're right so let's do output okay and let's set it up against arturia Ooh, oh, Arturia versus output. Leave it. That's you study tough for this one? because I love arcade. Mm -hmm. Right. But 
I'm probably going to go with Arturia just because there's so many instruments. Bro, Ooh. I always say yeah. that. Damn, you've been capable. I got to stop <coughs> playing with you with Arturia, dude. No, Arturia is insane. Everybody keeps telling Arturia's me, dumb. like, yeah, Bro, I keep because even kind of yeah. pushed me to that. That like, V collection? I had insane. pigments, mm -hmm. but then, and this is ironic that we landed here because remember we were talking about kind of like computers and compatibility and stuff like that? So my Pro Tools kept hanging. Um, like, I kept getting these weird hangs mm. with Pro Tools when I switched over to M1. And I was just like, damn, this is just how Pro Tools is. This is my life now. I was like, my life sucks, right? Just recording and stuff. So I remember saying, there's no way. I was like, something has to be like, there has to be maybe an Intel plugin, like, or something's going on. So I went through all my plugins. Dude, I took off pigments, and it, my system went perfect. Like, it was like, mm. so mm. I don't think they I don't know if they've updated since, like, kind of like their plugins yeah, to like the new M1 and stuff like that, but it's right. really getting annoying, dude. Like, that whole mm. thing is getting super, super annoying with the whole thing. So, so we're we, we getting into M2, so. Yeah, but that's but but see, yeah. crazy, and, you know? Kind of you know, crazy. Decap it's for, quick, bro. You know, I know you have your own plugin as well, obviously, right? Um, and I have my, we have our own, like, as well. And that plug -in scares boys. me. Yeah, plug -in plug -in boys. boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Plug-in boys. It's, tough, it's tough, a beautiful tough, time yeah. when, like, mm -hmm. independent plugins are, like, that's, it's yeah. a beautiful time. That's a whole nother conversation. But it scares mm -hmm. me, like, just to know, like, yo, like, M2 is coming, and yeah. now that's going to mess up, like, my compatibility yeah. with everything, dude. Like, mm -hmm. I don't even know how to handle it. I'm scared to upgrade, like, anytime something comes out. Oh, yeah, out. no, I don't. I and it's not anymore. easy, because we, we have to always make sure, like, it's tested. Yes. And you have to Seriously. stay ahead of the game tested. Yeah. And that was yeah. the biggest Before mistake. Before I upgrade, I'm in the forums. It's not easy. No, yeah, I'm in the forums, I'm looking, like, I'm yeah. like, yo, did they do it yet? Like, Pro Tools <clears> just... Like release, like okay, we're good now. Like you Type know what I mean. Stuff, like yeah. which is scary. It's like everyone been out for years, like almost two years. Yeah, exactly. Three years now. Take it easy on us, developer, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I see a new update, I'm like, yo, you on yo, that? You good? <laughs> <laughs> you like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's yeah. risky though. This yeah. Is yeah, yeah. yeah. Very, very, I'm like, very, fuck very, it. All right, if he's doing it, then I'm doing it. So, all right, last one. Um, oh, it's your turn. Okay. Oh, all right. All right, I got it. Gravity Falls versus Steven Universe. Ooh. We're talking about the show. I'm ready for this one. Yeah, show record. I mean, if we're talking about the sh show, you can split listen too. I'm gonna have to go Gravity Falls for the oh, show, right? Shit. I did not expect yeah. that. Very yeah. interesting. And I ain't gonna you lie. And we will talk Universe later about that. Yeah. But for the tracks, for the track. I mean, come on. No, <laughs> <He's> <laughs> like, oh, hey, hey, relax, 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 relax. Forty million streams. Twenty million. Come on, streams. man. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the forty. <laughs> <million>. <laughs> Just look at the number, dog. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Got you. So, so that's cool. So, uh, you know, I want to come back to kind of what you were saying about like just calling decap and just like, yo, what's good with this off mic? And I'm gonna bring up all of our podcasts that we did so far while we were uh, <laughs> off sure. mic. Please, all please, four please, of the sure. podcasts. Yeah, that we remember <laughs> exactly. And you brought up, and I feel like everybody has like that one friend that they go to when they ask for <laughs> like, yo, what you want or what's going on or they call. So apparently. Uh, in this relationship, Decap is mm. the guy that basically makes Eldre spend all his money. So I found that <laughs> yes. really interesting. So I like, this. what's something new that you kind of like, even both of you guys are using, like as far as your setup and stuff like that? Because you said you guys have a similar mm. setup now. Like, what are you guys using now? I'll start and then I'll let him explain it all. <laughs> but I'm right now, I'm using RME interface, switched from Apollo, right. switched oh, from that. Oh, you left us? And we're using plugin. Well, app whatever called gig performer to replace what a pot with the ua system had for us right and that's all because of this dude right i'm mm -hmm. like i don't know 17 1800 after one call with this dude wow uh, <laughs> so, uh, he's i like, had to buy dude, some new yeah. cables too so let's I throw bet. that in too right. i swear my life right. you know i feel you though but yeah i've been that's i've been awesome. uad like Oh, this whole time, I don't know. Like, sure. I haven't seen. Yeah. How soon has this switch like like occurred? It's been a few months. Mm -hmm. Got you. I, yeah. say, I haven't seen. I haven't really seen it? you. I've been. Yo, dude. Yeah. I've always. I, I just know. Yeah. I like it. How are you like video it? is gonna have an Apollo right there sitting, yeah. and my man is just gonna right. be gone. Maybe the OP is over there. Like you're just gonna be doing yeah. that. So yeah. like it's interesting to see you switch and over. RC twenty sure. What? So I guess I'll go to you now, dude. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. what in that interface, like. Did you do like? Did you see that even you convinced him to like kind of switch over in that? Yeah. So RME. So I was doing research because I tried a bunch of different interfaces over time. Right. And I was having an issue when I updated with the interface I was using. Uh huh. Hmm. And so I did a lot of research, and what I found is RME they build their own drivers. Okay. Like I was looking on Gearspace, and they like they build their own driver, mm -hmm. and supposedly they're like rock solid. Right. So I tried it, and not only was it solid, like uh -huh. it worked with my setup, <clears throat> uh -huh. but what you can do with it is crazy. Like right. it has this thing called Total Mix, and mm -hmm. you can route basically anything anywhere. Right. So it it was just crazy to me. Right. So uh -huh. I um I switched everything 
from what I was using the army. Sorry. Man. Got you. Doesn't yeah. that sound like FL Studio tough. to you? Okay, you can Not stop. Not at all. You no can way. Rock anything no way. anywhere. This, this, for you to compare See, an no, no, no. Ar- this beautiful army interface yeah, to, to a FL beautiful DW. I'm about to say, I'm about to say you know what it is? Like, like what, what they're talking about is reliable. I don't yeah, know. Reliability. reliability. Yeah. What you trying to say? That's important. What you trying to, I'm not going to get jumped by y'all. FL Studio is reliable. If we take that clipper out, if we take that limiter out, Y'all reliable? Oh. Hey, flat. <laughs> D-Cat, the fruity limit D-Cat what, right. what speaking of really? our earlier podcast, uh, D-Cat, yeah, yeah. can you please explain to them why the Your FL limiter soft, is the greatest? For sure. And, and, L- and LJ is not lying. D-Cap gave us some real sauce on this, and we're going to let him cook. Oh, the fruity the limiter, limiter right? is the greatest yeah, this, limiter no, this ever sauce. made. This is incoming sauce. So can you tell us, uh, as far as, because we all know the uh, ever so evil mm-hmm. uh, fruity limiter. That, and compre- it has okay. a compressor. And a compressor that's how do you feel about It's the CLA 86. I gotta be fair. The F- FL Studio limiter uh-huh. is yeah. probably one of my favorites. Ooh, it's it's, here first. it's really here first. good. So Ooh. this is a hot take because I know everyone says don't use the limiter, don't put it on. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. if you know how to adjust a couple settings, uh-huh. you can turn like two knobs uh-huh. and it sounds good. Incredible. Ooh, it sounds good. Now I will say this. Yep. Anytime I have seen <laughs> FL producers like producing in, in the thing, I'm like, this is not mixing. Holy crap. I'm like, it is like knocking. I'm like, yo, what mm-hmm. the fuck? But yeah. what, so what I did was I recently tried FL Studio for myself because I was like, okay, I produce in Pro Tools. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I was like, let me just venture out there. You know, everybody always be talking. Everybody thinks I'm crazy and I'm crazy. I'm like, it's okay. So I went over and I said, I'm going to try FL Studio. Uh, and here we go. I remember I was like, I had a kick on and I was like, what the hell? Like, of course. So yeah. I'm not a noob, right? Like, I've been doing this for a long time. So I'm like, whoa. Like, I didn't, like, that kick does not hit like that. I looked at the end of that chain and I yeah. saw that limit. I said, this is so, such a yeah, dirty definitely. marketing tactic. You know what? Here's, here's a theory. Here's a yep. theory. What's the theory? Mm. I think, right? Drums that knock. <laughs> not oh boy. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Hold on. He's about hold to expose you. Wait, wait. What's I think, happening? I think drums that knock uh-huh. knock better in FL. And with when you throw knock on it, come on. <laughs> How do you feel about that? Don't How do you knock, feel? No, nah, I got no. So, drums that knock with the knock plug in with in FL, FL Studio. FL studio. Like, like, yo, that's yeah. kind of fire. That should be a preset. Like, that's that's fire. That <laughs> should be a preset. Yeah, Image yeah, line, hit us up. Come on. I mean, I I wanted I wanted to make knock so you put it any any dog. You know what I'm saying? So not just FL. So, I, and I noticed like FL versus Ableton, it's a conversation. For FL sure, 11 yeah. versus FL 20. Yeah. Like there's a lot of conversations. And right. I, I realized there's a couple of things in FL 11 uh-huh. that are different about FL. Yes. Yeah, and I'm, you did bring that up on our second podcast that we recorded earlier. <laughs> um, what, what was what was that difference that you actually kind of like kind of found in your re- like researching that? Yeah. So there's something called I, I don't know exactly what it is, but in FL11 there's like a pan law feature, uh-huh. and what that does is it increases the volume. It was like I think it was a bug that Image Line said they had in it. It uh-huh. increases yeah. the volume, uh-huh. and so when that goes through the master, it's oh. clipping. So so when it clips. It, it sounds better. Yeah. So yeah. that's why a lot of people say oh, FL11 sounds better. FL11. Wow. Yeah. So tough. there was just we a bug in the it. system that was making, like, made it, kind of forcing yeah. it. Almost like it a made bug. made the level louder. And it worked. Yeah. Yep. That's Sorry, hard. That was that's not hard. a bug. That's FL really is marketing is really crazy. But why did they take it out then? Why did they take it out? Because they got tired of scamming people, dude. Come on. He's like, yo, we got something to choose one. I like that. I'm just saying. That's dope. I like that. Look what your dog did. Like, okay, think about, okay, let's let's really analyze this mistake. Yes. It's a mistake that makes things louder. Yes. It works out. Like, come on, it clips it too, which we know, like a cl- like a clip kick is just gonna, it's just gonna hit, like it's just gonna hit yeah. super hard. Yes. And That's why what? we got a don't. lot of producers that say like, oh, dog, I don't change from like. There's a lot of producers right now that are still like in an old ass version of like FL, dude. Like can it's be, weird. You can't be mad that Avid didn't think of it. You can't be didn't mad that Ableton scam. didn't think of it. It wasn't a scam. <laughs> if anything, I think I, I think love it. I personally, I personally think it was a, a great demonstration of what their stock plugins could do. Who? FO. It's like, hey, open it and let's show you what we what you can do with with, with our stock plugin. Yeah, open it, no it. leveling, just straight, and just clean, 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 and just go for it. There's no clean. consent there. It's no nice. consent is correct. <laughs> like, no. I'm so dead. So no consent. So is here's insane. my thing. So speaking of plugins and things of that nature, um, I just find it interesting that we actually land on the plugins um topic and stuff like that. And obviously, you own your own plugin, which is awesome. And you know, from one creator to another, that takes a lot. You yes. know what I mean? Like that really, really, really takes a lot. Um, and you've had so much success with that plugin, uh, at least from what I've seen. You know what I mean? As far as there's not one bad, no one was saying anything bad about that. Mm-hmm. Even I seen like Abe McRae 
uh, shout out to Ava Gray. He did a review, and you know how the thumbnail looked like he was, I was like, oh, he's about to shit on the plug That's a wild And then he was like, my drums did not. The shit's exploded. And I was like, oh my God. I was, I was like, that was such a good like fucking thing. So, you know, as far as that process of just how you got there and how you created this plugin, um, you know, how was that process and stuff like that? Like being somebody that experienced myself, I always wanted to express this with people, like yeah. how difficult it is on an indie side to pull that off. So like, what was that process like for you? Just like pulling off that plugin and stuff like that? Totally. Yeah, it was a lot more work than I thought. It took like, from the beginning to end, it took about 18 months. Right. Oh. So. Yeah, it wow. was it was definitely like a year problem. and six. Yeah, yeah, that's and tough. I wasn't expecting that. And you'd think like you know when we work in Dawes, like we think to make a change, you just turn a knob. You know what right, I mean? Right, right for most a, people. But in a plugin, you have to really go in and like recode it and everything. So yeah. you know, I had to work with. Uh, I, I had a team basically working the plugin, mm -hmm. like right. people coding. Um, and so like you know, one little change you have to. Yeah. And which even at that point, you yourself have to think about it from all aspects, even just from just the point of a producer or engineer. You have to yeah. think about it like, well, how is the consumer, like, you know, right. exactly. how is the non-artist, how is the non-producer, how is the non-engineer, how is the yeah. startup person going to consume this? How are they going to really like, how is the ease of functionality going to really affect them? Yeah. Right. That's tough. And I can only imagine like that is a lot of pressure because I'll say it from firsthand experience, right? Here's the, here's the deal. We tested out the Rosetta EQ early, like very early, and um, he was still changing things. For sure. I wasn't aware. So I would mix these records. Oh, I'm so sorry, yeah. dog. All right, hold I on. Would, wait, let me hold tell the story. Where did you place? Let me, place? Place? Let me, let me place? We, we didn't get this we didn't fry you. these guys up. He was we didn't fry you. We didn't fry you. He was, you. He was okay. changing things up. So <laughs> whenever I updated the Rosetta EQ... And a parameter changed, mm -hmm. my entire mix changed. Yeah, and so it was like, Whoa. I just yeah. gave it to only them. So, okay, so people understand it like this. Imagine, right, to the audience, imagine Waves updates our comp, right? Like oh, a boy. famous ass, like you had this yeah. on something, right? Mm -hmm. And they say, you know what? Let's make the R comp brighter, like, or let's make it hit harder. If you update it with that parameter in, yeah. in mind, it That's changed your every, That's every your session now. you ever mm -hmm. had changes. So when I realized, like as a plugin maker, I was like, holy crap, like once I put this out, this is here yeah. to stay. Yeah. You can't change, you can't change because it. Because you'll change the mix. And, yeah. and when users use it, they'll be like, why does my whole song sound different? Exactly. Yeah. And now yeah. you got a problem. So that's one something. of those things I didn't think about. Right. Yeah. And, and you know, you have to think through all these things when you're doing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You yeah. have to think about all these. So, you that's know, that's why. The user's experience. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And that's another reason why really, we really took our time, like totally. with the whole thing, because I was like, dude, this is like a whole other thing. And I was like, we'll get murdered online. Like, I was so nervous. Like the day of drop, like I was like, I hope everyone's computer doesn't explode. Like me you know, too. Like, yeah. <laughs> me too. I, um, Even though we tested it like to the facts. core. Yeah. yeah. Can I actually ask the both of you um, a neutral question as a neutral fan of both? Um, decap first for sure. Um, what was it's just the one? Um, what was the hardest aspect of developing that plugin of seeing the plugin to fruition? Mm. Man, it was just great like question. great question. The hardest aspect, you know it. <laughs> Creating the plugin, I just wanted to make it like a whole experience. So right. like it was, it's called Knock, and I wanted basically you put on your drums and make some Knock. Right. So I'm thinking like, what is everything that I do? And so I spent a lot of time going back and forth with features. Actually, wow. interesting. Oh. Yeah. So I was thinking hmm. like, you know, there were certain things that in the beginning I didn't have, and then I wanted to add it. Let me add this. At, yeah. Let me add that right. afterwards. And yeah. then I didn't think like. You know, and doing that, it costs more development. Time. Yeah. So you time. have to go in and. And like kind of rebuild things because right. it's not as easy as like click and drag. Sure. Mm -hmm. So one thing um, leads to another. Everything is like together. It's like if you do one thing that affects something else, like it's exactly. Like that. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So like you know, one thing I learned is to have it as solid as possible before going into development. Gotcha. Right. So you, right. you want to have right. that like that idea pretty much. But yeah, for sure. And that's not how I approached it. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> so I mean, no, you did. Okay. no, it was my first plugin, and right. I I just went in like, you know, I just want to make it the best. It can. Of course, for sure. You know, right, right. And right. Um, it wasn't fully thought. Gotcha. I thought, or I thought right. it was, but then I'm like, what if I added this? Yeah. Right. What if I added right. That? Oh, let right. me change that. Yeah. Oh, right. Me, you know. Right. Oh, this would be better in this order. Right. Oh, this would be, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> Interesting. Even the order of yeah. how you have it from exactly, the hierarchy yeah. and stuff like that. Funny what's, enough. You know, what's, um, go ahead. Mm -hmm. I think, and I'm I'm not a plugin maker at all, but you know, the BLA seventy six coming out one day. Um, 
I think I can tell y'all what one of the hardest parts of making a plugin is, and I haven't made a plugin ever. Wow. And the reason why is because you guys share something uh -huh. that a lot of other plugins don't. Really? And that is AAX compatibility. Wowzers. Hmm. You and, guys figured and, that out. And you're on mobile. Right? And yeah. he got Rice, the, uh, yeah, I see, Rice. I see. And I'm, can I'm, I also add <laughs> that, Levens? Yeah. That, that was a really good um point. Y'all also, please, plugin developers, realize it's 2023. Stop doing this bullshit. VST3 and AAX only. Yeah. Yeah. No one uses VST2, VST2 anymore. You want to know what's Stop. Or well, AU and AU. Yeah. No, AU. AU. No, you need AU. And people use it for Mac AU. logic. AU. Like, you need it. Look, look, look. He said, hey. He's like, come on, yeah, man. Yeah, man. He's like, hell no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't even <laughs> think we can use VST2 anymore. Yeah, so I, don't, I, don't I don't take it. I mean, shout out to all my Windows we, Vista people. You have the option to. I, don't, wow. I think it's only VST3 now. I could be wrong. No, no, no. When I was on, the um, me build the plugin. We're telling, telling you, you. Yeah. Wow. Like we can't even build. When on I was platform. on Windows, yeah. uh, when I was still on Windows, like maybe four years ago, mm -hmm. there was a VST2 option. Um, I think FL allows you as well, uh -huh. but I, you know, that's broke boy stuff. I'm they let you use it, but, but as a developer, I don't think you can actually build the VST. I can't right. imagine. Yeah. Yeah. You probably can, wow. probably can. You know, so I want to kind of switch gears right quick because, um, you know, Eldre, what I've been watching you for a, a long time, right? Like I've been watching you for a long time, but what made me really like start like hitting you up, like I'll be honest with you, like I know I started, you started seeing me like kind of like, yo dog, like just kind of just being more like engaged with your content was, dude, when you announced that project that you were doing with that clap, bro, like uh, yeah, yeah. I don't think people understand like how Insane. much of a bridge you created, you know, with that movie. <clears throat> like I was so, I was so impressed by you, and I yeah. want to let you know that. Like it almost makes me emotional because to see that, I was like, yo, yeah, I don't even understand like That's what that deal. as a producer. As a I can producer, tell you, can dog, I give you kudos, like, bro? I really appreciate Real it. Talk, yeah, I, you deserve your flowers because no, for sure. you create, you created something, whether you realize it yeah. or not. You created a culture, and whether people want to give you credit for creating it is up to them. You're definitely spearheading a culture. Yeah. You're the reason why everyone under everyone born after 2000 owns RC20, whether legally or <laughs> no, <laughs> damn right. Um, no, for real, bro. Yeah. And yeah, real, and bro. I think we yeah. could throw that on both of y'all too because hey, his his drum kits, man. You're the reason Spice oh, yeah. is in business we, with me. That's no, damn right. right. No, no, right. Just, <laughs> just a minute ago, we was up. playing a bunch of hit records. So this is funny. This is great. We got to say, yeah. this was in podcast, what, three that we did mm -hmm. earlier? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, we were playing of songs, for, uh, for instance, for yeah. DCAP. And we were like, dog, this is your drums. Like, you want to hear it? Yeah. Wait, we played like five hit records. He was yeah. like, It's oh, like shit. Grammy winning <laughs> records. <laughs> that? yeah, that's crazy. Oh, wow. He's like, oh, that's definitely my song. Yeah. Like, you're to me, DCAP, to me, and I think the perfect way to describe you is you are a producer's producer. Literally. Like, that's, that's literally dope. the best way I can that's describe dope. you. I always tell people that. Like, I feel like the... you are like a fundamentalist, like yeah. in that sense, where you just take things so serious and I, I trust you. You know what I mean? Oh, that's like, that's I what really I was do. telling him like, earlier. Like, see, the yeah. trust is like, I trust this dude <laughs> yeah. over anybody yeah. with Literally. any amount of subscribers, blah, blah, blah. Like, right. Mm -hmm. Seriously. Yeah. It's like, same, same thing, dude. We were just like, saying it in podcast. It was podcast three still. Podcast three. Podcast three? Okay. He's in the. Splice Hall of Fame for sure. Oh yeah, it's dude, him. Like well, honestly, him, it's just him, Oliver, Oliver and in uh, Kashmir. In Kashmir, Kashmir. Yeah. Yeah. That is the Hall Dope. of Fame. The Hall so of the Splice yeah. Hall of Fame. That's like bro. LeBron, <laughs> Wade, and Bosh. Dead too. Yes, that's yeah, the big three right there. Yeah, we're gonna make that a clip. Sure, for sure, for sure. That's a clip. That's so so dope. So, um, you know, so we can uh. I wanted to bring up something. I think you said you wanted to bring up a topic, if I'm not mistaken, but you said you were kind of worried oh, about bringing it up, which it. I was like, so it made me so intrigued. Yeah, I think you said it was like kind of like political based ish. What was I remember talking, remember about, talking about? I can't remember what it was though. I forgot. Damn. Damn. I was like, it's political, but what was it? I forgot what it was. I got something for you. It was a podcast 45 we did. What? This was earlier. It was way earlier. I remember that. I just can't remember what it was. Yeah, yeah. I would like to. So my question is, have y'all? ever um as ableton users gotten mentally evaluated just because <laughs> i want to <laughs> don't look at me man i've been doing this man. all my life no, I know, i'm man. here for this i'm here for my heroes I'm, to help uh, me <laughs> like, i would like to i would like to say this right now let's go <laughs> yeah. okay. let's go let's hear it. Let's go. I, I really i've only been here for i don't know how long i've been here mm -hmm. But like, are they paying you, bro? Like, <laughs> like, like I don't I even know. Ice, like, bro, you bro. see this? You I see think this? I think you should have said that to a mirror, cause, cause you know, like, 
you know, I mean, Ableton, <laughs> Robert, get on him. Get Ableton, on him. Ableton, look, all right. Get on him. You ain't even Ableton. I want to talk shit, and oh. I want to say Ableton <laughs> is the best. Right. But, but um, but, you know, like, do your thing. But, you know, I, I, I just think you're riding a little too long. Yo, think about that. Like, think about that. I think, able, like, like, one, of, one of the Ableton masters just told you, FL user, do your thing. Corny, 21. can we talk? What's good? What's good? What's good? Let's talk. I feel let's like talk. um, yeah, but you, 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 because you, I feel like you have a personal problem with me, and let's you have, you're <laughs> gonna bring this back again to the I, mono thing. We do He's episode after episode. episode. You know, it's playful. It's playful. <laughs> right. and I love you it. know how like we, you know, we play fight or whatever. Pause. Yeah, I'm here. Of course. But I punch you, and he's just like. All right, hold on. We really got. Now I'm about to uppercut like, up up you. I don't know what I said in the last episode, no, right. but what's up? <laughs> you jumped me today, bro. Earlier? Talking about earlier? I'm talking about right now. now. Look at the couch, oh, bro. Yeah, like, I feel yeah. like he's late. He called for backup. Let me right. real. Y'all are out of control. So, Give me a couple episodes. So I got you shouldn't so, be talking. We'll I, jump you. I, I'm, I'm, I'm being no. very quiet, see, by the way. You don't see, see me. Hey, here's the problem. Here's yeah. the problem. You make here's beats in Pro Tools? Dog, I made beats Because that's what I'm... Tools. Like, I wasn't going to say nothing. Do you are a dude, but like, that don't make no sense to me. No sense. It it does. You know, You know, people always say that to me, and this is what I want to say, and people always laugh. Like, y'all are going to laugh. Because, okay, I'll be super honest, right? When it comes to my doll... I want to hear you ask this question to them too. Yeah, I will. Ask the right I am. We are behind, right? When it comes to production, like let's I'm, just be honest. Thank God. When it comes you to produce, it, bro. when it comes but, to production, we no, no, we are behind. Mm -hmm. but, but in terms of a mix, of oh, go ahead. No, ask the question. A, a one for me. Uh, but there's a lot of things that they have coming, dude. That yeah. they're finally mm. starting to pay attention. So sounds to me like somebody signed an NDA. You know, <laughs> I was God, about to that say was that was That was okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he's on fire today, just going to jail. So to me, it's like, okay, I, I started to play around with FL Studio, stuff like that for that reason, because I was like, dang, I feel like my, my needs aren't being met as far as my mm. dog is concerned. Yeah. I was like, I feel like I'm not being as creative as I want to be like with my dog. Yeah. So that's what made me start to say, okay, maybe I'll start trying other dogs. So I was like, let me try FL Studio first, because I had used it years ago, like because right. it was free for everyone at some point. Mm -hmm. So... I tried it and I really didn't like it, but then they released Groove Cell, okay? And oh. it's a, it's a, it's our first it's our first step sequencer. We're just little oh little babies coming out. I think there's other Welcome to the club. Too, first no. of all, they like have to, just yeah. has to get a DLC. But simple, but simple things like that. It's like yeah. the fact that I didn't have like Come a really like a good step sequencer. Like it really bothered me. But now, now I've, I've spoken to them since. Like they're starting to actually like, all right, like Upgrade. let's see what's up over We're, here. And if yeah. I get if yeah. I if they get it up to par, dog, with like the mixing capabilities yeah. and recording that I already love in the door. Y'all might have something. It but I want to say we are dramatic as hell. Who? Like FL. us just as me. Relax. Musicians. <laughs> Musicians, right? Because okay. the way you just said That's that, valid, I don't know if y'all noticed. <laughs> 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 yeah, I, don't know, I don't know if we noticed, um, um, but the way you said that, like I don't, uh, let's let's change context, right? Okay. okay. Say we're not talking about music. Okay. Let's say we're talking about a, like you're talking about a woman, right? Okay. I feel okay. like I'm not getting my Jeez. needs met, so I had to, <laughs> you know, check around for something else. It's like, damn. Oh, that's how I felt though. I did feel girl? like that. I, I feel mean, like Rancy, I feel like my same, girl. I was like, my girl's you're not really on your girl. Like I was like, no. I was I, about to say we're the oh. same pod that talks about cheating on their dogs. Oh, yeah, I cheated you know? on my dog, but it was because it's I felt like I wasn't getting the dog my you cheated with. So you, but it's the industry standard. No, you got not, the one. But here's the thing: wow. I'm not leaving. You we cheated just down, bro. Groove you literally cell. cheated. We got SimCell. Like, there's, there's, like, up there, finally starting to do like actually what I needed to do. So I'm, I'm not moving now. Like now, I'm all in with the whole thing. So, so let me ask you this: Like, let me ask you this. Um, as far as your dogs are concerned, right? If there was one dog that you guys could pick, let's say Ableton just for some reason the servers went down and it was a wrap, like all Ableton. No was more gone. free updates for you three, because I love it. I like asking it to the people that's like that use Ableton. So. Man, I use uh -huh. I I use Pro Tools, <clears throat> Ableton, right. FL Studio. He's which a dog yeah. right? But what I'll say is, um, there's this one plugin in Ableton, uh -huh. this Max for Live plugin called Shortcut Buddy. It's like a twelve dollar plugin. Thank you, man. Yeah, but that made me and like this, just not want to use FL. To like I now I yeah. just use Ableton because of this. Like, what is it? It's called Shortcut Buddy. So what you can do is you can assign a keyboard shortcut to any plugin. Wow. So you hit one key and it loads a plug. In. I've actually Holy never shit. showed you. I love like I, like I just oh, said, Lord. decap is, me on to that. Oh, crazy. Sure. It's but crazy. can I can I say something to you, decap? Yeah, sure. It sounds like you're in a plug-in open relationship. 
and I feel like you're <laughs> neglecting open plug in relationship. Yeah, because I feel like you, you I'm not plug in. Open, I'm sorry, D A W really open open D A W relationship. Yeah. Because what? and you and you're neglecting F L. I feel like that's the one that you like tossed aside. <laughs> <laughs> he just told you. He just told you. You see how you uh you you love to praise um Pro Tools' searching capabilities, especially when it comes to plugins. Yes. Now imagine. Opening Ableton. Nah, you pack me. I'm, I'm about to pack. No, no, no. I'm really about to pack you up. Okay. Imagining opening Ableton. You just press your caps lock button. Thank you so much, Decap. You press F. <laughs> you press F. Right. And no matter on your audio track or your MIDI, MIDI track, Fab Filter Pro Q3. But what if I up. accidentally press F? F and like Matt Omnisphere is open? And that will happen. <laughs> that will happen. We'll be yeah. honest. Yeah. That will happen. Okay, you can make a mistake. Be, it's, it's not dumb. perfect. Yeah. Be okay. wary of your shortcuts, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Okay. But come on. No, I'm not going to lie. That's a really ill. I'm no, not going to lie. Because at the end of the one day, key? I know my go-to compressor. I know my go-to EQ. That's what I'm just saying. Like, especially yeah, one key. If I can have a button to just open up Fab Filter EQ, like Pro Q3. Like, this right, is the world I'm living in. For sure. Love it for that reason. Like, but, look, yeah. but, let's, but if FL had that feature, I would love that too. Come on, like, I, feel that. I feel that. I feel that. I get FL that. So he's no, unbiased. I, I enjoy rock with Decap. I about you? He's the most unbiased, okay. level-headed dude. So if For he sure. today, right now, today said <laughs> FL Studio is the best, then maybe I consider switching. You might switch. <laughs> He's not loyal because he's unbiased. He, 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 he tries the truth. I try to like be unbiased because I I really want to see like what's what. Like FL is actually a dope dog. I have a lot of fire. Like when I haven't used it in a while and I go back to it, it's like. Oh man, I remember why I like this. Exactly. It's got this warm okay. feeling. Like right. even yeah. when you opened up, you showed me FL on your laptop. I was like, mm-hmm. oh, this is like a warm feeling. Yeah. Right. There's something right. about it's it that's home. cozy. Right. You know about that. You know that's the wifey yeah. material. You know what's Come funny on. for me? You know why yeah, opening yes. FL gate like kind of stressed me out? Ding ding. Besides that, <laughs> but that's a great but sound effect. It's like, fast. Oh it opens fast. It I does love open. It Mad loads fast. fast. Yeah. Mad Ableton fast. Pro Tools aren't there. Yeah, yeah. no, it's not there. Can, so I, no. can, I, can I say? And, and please remember your question. Yeah. But I will say to both of you, I'm not gonna lie. As I as you um uh, upgraded me with my PC and stuff on my laptop, um I've noticed that that jump. And I just think it was just Ableton no. general. I'm like, damn, it's gonna load all my plugins. I'm screwed. But no. Ableton, I'm not gonna lie, Ableton is actually a really good benchmark of like what you're working with um, computer equipment wise. I'm not gonna lie, wow. it really okay. is a good benchmark. You're like it's like right it's now. very optimized, it's yeah. very good at optimizing like yeah. the actual CPU. For and stuff sure, like for that. sure. Because even with Pro Tools, I'm just like, it's Pro Tools. See, now maybe it'll take long, maybe it won't. See, now here's the thing about Pro Tools. Um, so we, I don't know if y'all dolls have it, but we have the system usage window. Mm. So yes, we, we have do. a system usage now. window where it basically shows me all my cores yeah. and it lets me know, like, okay. Core one, two, three, four is like cranked, and then four, five. It kind of lets mm-hmm. me see. Ours don't show cores, right? Doesn't show cores. Don't no. show yeah, cores. No. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure. Ours is less the, simple. The yeah, I was a bottom, like when you're in the session mode. Yes. Are, is that cores? I don't no, know. No, I think it's showing you how much like, work, yeah, how much work it's doing. My oh yeah, yeah, my bad. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. You're good. Pro so Tools. I love Pro Tools because it's it's such a technical dog in the best way. In the best way. Right. There's so many features. It, it's crazy how in-depth you can go. Dude, yeah. I was, so I was like, obviously we're at NAMM, so I've been talking like, you know, some of my Pro Tools raps and stuff like that. And they were like, yo, we just released this. I'm like, yo, dude. like For real? Yeah. Can you, tell us. You slow down or like, like, make, like show us. Like do a 50 or, yeah, things you don't know about Pro Tools thing. Like I'd be, I'd, be, I'd be wanting to do those videos because there's so many things, dude, like that I'll go to like 50 things you didn't know about Pro Tools. And I'm like, how, the, how yeah. don't yeah. I know this? Like, you know what I mean? Like weird things. Like for instance, the other day, Mind blown, the gift with the guy, boom. Dude, I went to the transport window in uh, uh, Pro Tools and I seen something that said Ableton Link. It was a check. And I immediately was like, <coughs> Why does my doll say Ableton Link? Because y'all didn't like know what teaming up on people when y'all think y'all gonna lose the game. It's fine. <laughs> that sounds like that sounds okay. like hate from someone that doesn't have FL Link. The FL Link. So okay, so it's this is this is funny. Sweet. We landed here. So let me ask you this. Let me ask you this question. Then you guys are Ableton users. Mm-hmm. What door, if you did a fusion Super Saiyan level Goku refusion, what other door would you combine with your door and say, I am done? I would love to hear this. We're Ooh. done here. I would if love you to had to this. combine two doors, Ableton, of course, but what door would you integrate into yours and be like, dog, I don't have to go nowhere? Man, um, you know, FL Studio, that piano roll. Yeah. Yo, <laughs> that's hey, all I want. Hey, but we got updated soon. <clears throat> We got our drone updated too, so yeah. you know. But, but I do want to hear but this. this. But the channel this. rack, the piano roll, for like, sure. Writing for sure. in FL, like coming up with loops and ideas, mm-hmm. there is something about it. Yes, for sure. Now you can get there in Ableton, but uh-huh. FL, the experience in FL is really dope. No, composing in D- FL is really yeah. fun. And I'll agree with him there. D-cap, I will agree with him. Quick there. question. I'll yeah. give you all that. 
Those drums that knock loops. Which DAW were they made in? Ableton and FL. Oh, oh wow. Ooh, oh, how did you people didn't know that. Actually, yeah. that was actually a pretty yeah, good question. Do you, you split. like that swing knob in FL? Oh, yeah. But yeah, Ableton, actually, the swing is better. Oh. Ooh, the, groove, the groove pool. The groove, you have, oh, so you guys have something called groove pool. Groove pool. In FL, it's easier to just go in and turn the knob. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah, to swing, right. But in FL, in Ableton, you can you can add like different grooves. It's, right. it's pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. yeah. you, you know what's funny? A lot of people don't know this about Pro Tools. I'm sorry, I always bring it back to Pro Tools. Uh, mm -hmm. We have actual like uh, presets. Uh, for our swings mm -hmm. and stuff like that. See, mm -hmm. we, they just don't talk about Same. it. And, and I have to learn this myself. Yeah. But we have yeah. like logic uh, grooves, uh, Cubase oh, wow. grooves, like, so, like NPC style groove. Bro, we have a bunch of grooves to swing our stuff like all the so time. So I, I see what it is. So we're, we're like high school and y'all are like homeschool. Because you no, gotta learn you on your own. No, you guys are homeschool. Because you guys are the bad little kids but that we, just bang on the door. Exactly. And we're we're sure. high school still. We're just, yeah, we're just we're in detention. Bad yeah, I feel like Pro Tools is like. College, but like masters, degree. honors kids, but they yeah. still learn it on their own. Though. It's like we're yeah. it, like we're we're getting, trying to get our PhD. Yeah, we lost touch. Now, yeah. now you're just like now you just paying the like money because you got nothing yeah, else to do. Like the yeah. big what a, what a, what's school. Ableton then? Ableton, Ableton is, is just a regular school. Yeah, Ableton, yeah. Ableton, Ableton is, is the like, full ride scholarship. Like the, the UC Santa Barbara is like. That's what I'm saying. We're a full ride scholarship. No, the FL kids play basketball. We all play ball. Yeah, I do all play we basketball. Play See, we're the we're you guys we're, like soccer. They not y'all might hockey. be football kids. Y'all might be <laughs> football league kids. Pro, pro tools are we're nerds. Okay. Like we're I feel like they might be football league kids. And we're very you might serious. be the basketballers. No, we take ourselves very serious. Pro tools, yeah. we just we take one, ourselves very serious. Is the kids that want to take themselves as serious as y'all? No, Studio One so is a Sorry, silent. Is a silent. To me, this is what Studio One is. Studio One is the kid that keeps getting picked last on the basketball team. But, <laughs> but he's, he's fire. But he's really good. Man, watch if, me. He's, if you watch give him a this. chance, you'd be like, oh, he's actually pretty good. Like, he's yeah. really good. I think Reason like is the kid that was popping in middle school that and then went through school. something traumatic <laughs> and kind of like is just quiet as hell in high school. And I think Reaper is the kid that gets picked on too much in high school. Reaper. And it's like, yo, one one more, you know, one more last year. <laughs> you got one more in you. And, and you're done it. here. I think Pro Tools is golf. <laughs> it's golf? Because it's like, you know. It's golf? Yeah, it's golf, I feel like. I felt that. I don't golf, but, golf, you know, it's like, my the reason why I <laughs> eat Pro Tools is because it was like a class in at the recording school. Right. And I don't know, dude. It just seems like, it's just like... The the dog is it a dog? Do you even call it a dog? I love it's this. definitely it's a, a dog. Because yeah. yeah. look, for me, for it's me, a like it was just vocals, vocals, vocals. Right. So yeah. even like the first person I saw making beats on Pro, I think it was Illmind. He was making beats on yeah. Pro Tools live, and I'm like, whoa, Illmind's making beats, beats on Pro Tools. But that was the first time I even thought it was a thing it that was yeah. yeah. done. Yeah. Speaking of which, mm -hmm. how was how was that experience at the LA Recording School? Mm. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, told us everything we needed to know. Yeah, Thank I you. mean, I, I, the real experience is $30,000 in student loan. Oh, that hurt. You know I what I'm saying? That, so, yeah. bro, so, yeah, so that's all it really was, yeah. but I will always say uh, shout out to my homie Oliver Malcolm. Like he, he wow. he's somebody I met yeah at the school Some. and like he put me onto a lot of stuff. He's like one of the best producers I met and Bro. like he would we went to I was his camera guy that's how I mm -hmm. kind of got into it so he was like a session producer he was going around getting me in all these cool sessions yeah. stuff like that so like that one connection would be it worth enough. it and then yeah. I got Ableton there so right, I yeah. guess that's kind of wow. worth it yeah, I'm the same out, Bro, I think out. that's kind of the same for I, it's the same for me for sure I went to LIU for uh, one year in the Rock Nation program and uh, 40k a year um, but yep. can right. I tell you, it, every every connection I made there was so for sure. And that, you know, yeah, I would to to add you guys, like I also did go to school. Like I did go to school for it because back in the day, um, you know, uh, during like when I was younger, just trying to come up and just try to figure things out, there weren't no YouTube videos. Like this whole thing didn't exist. This space didn't exist. The only guy that I could find videos for, and literally, it was when I was in school, was Dave Pensado. Like when Into the Layer, bro, when Into the Layer started to like drop videos, bro, like that was such a life changing experience. Cause I was like, I can sit here and keep replaying this Snoop Dogg vocal and look and see the EQ. Like that was yeah. mind blowing for me. Like I'm seeing how he EQ and of course I would see Dave do it and I would just, I, I'll try to copy. I would yeah. just do it. I'll be like, yo, this is what Dave did. So yeah. I'm just doing it. I wasn't even thinking like that. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have the technique, of course. But when I was in school, same thing. You know, you go to school and 
dude, it was expensive. Like it was yeah. really Very. expensive. Mm -hmm. And the problem, this is my problem with the education of the audio engineering side is that you're making us pay so much for school. I understand the outlook as far as like, yo, you could be rich, right? Yeah. But let's be honest, like there's a very small percentage of people that really grind and figure it out. And then very small. Very yeah. small, right? Yeah. Like we're all very blessed. Like yeah. we're all very lucky. And then the other side of it is like, dude, as soon as we get out, uh, we could have 100,000 in debt and we're about to work for free. Like chances are we're about to work for free for, for the next Shout couple out to all years. The it's not like you're going to get on a one record and be like, mm -hmm. oh, wow, I mixed that. It's like, no, you're still learning literally after you graduate. So mm -hmm. it's so tough with me in that conversation of just education. That's why we said, and I said, dude, I get it. Like yeah. I took what I took from that experience, mm -hmm. but then like I'm just super like transcended past it and I had to do my own like thing. But now, dude, school. Mm -hmm. And the fucked up thing about it was it got to the point where I'm in class uh -huh. just like, I don't know, bullshit and hanging out. And right. then like, I'll figure out whatever the homework was and I'll just go on YouTube and learn yeah. whatever I was supposed to be learning in the class. Mm, if seriously. I wasn't paying attention that day, yeah. I'm on YouTube just, okay, that's figuring what it was. What? Yeah. And playing with it, figuring it out. Stuff yeah, like, yeah. Wow, so My like, gosh, dude, like that's, that's wild to me. So, you know. Um, I like to point out that Courtney has been smiling with teeth this entire episode. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to lie. Thank you so much. I'm not going to lie. This is actually very you like full circle. Like it, no, I am. Afraid. Bro, this is very full circle and wholesome for me. Um, um, Dad is. knows this. I it talk is. to him about this every day. Every like, day. like between um, <laughs> you two. For one thing, again, and all Nerds fans, this will be like a, a literally like three in one like journey course thing for for me. Mm -hmm. um, it started. It started with Dev. Um, I went to I attended Full Sail just like him, mm -hmm. and I went for film. I didn't go for audio engineering. Um, but in that time, I was like, you know what? This is definitely part of what I, like film and audio play two halves of like what I really want to do in my career. So to see him start with Help Me Devon, and then at that time, you were starting your social media stuff. Mm -hmm. And then when I graduated, you were starting your social media stuff. And mm -hmm. I'm just like, whoa, I got the fucking trifecta right here to ah, like fucking ah, teach ah, me ah. everything. Like it is a full circle he's teaching me moment. mixing yeah. and stuff. And then both the Ableton masters, and then holy shit, at Full Sail, I have fucking amorphous. Yeah. So it's yeah. just like everyone's it's just, right. like, this, I'm not gonna lie, like it really, like, I would not have gotten here. I wouldn't have yeah. found like uh -huh. all, understood yeah. all this stuff about music and how much I love it and how much I love my, like how much I love my passion about it. If it wasn't for you guys, bro. Yeah. So I will, this is very I, interesting. I love, I love it. I wanna let y'all yeah. know like, Thank you. like dude, like as far as like him, like, yeah. well, I'm getting emotional, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, for sure. Um, knock out the field. He's really a fan of you guys, dude. Like, yeah. like every time you guys drop videos and stuff, like he really, dude, like he's like, in the group he's chat, excited, like, bro. Yeah. So like for him, dude, like just for y'all to show up, like it's a really big deal for him. And oh, it man. means so much to wow. me because it means so much to him. Like I know yeah. it does. Like I, I'm an emotional guy, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I, I love seeing people like, he's dog, he's happy. I'm happy, dude. Like just happy. It's a safe space. It's an honor blessing. to be here. It is a safe space. I'm so mad this episode is like- No, I got that on my system. I got that out of my system by the second podcast. I, yo, I opened up my template. I was like, yo, bro, look at my template. <laughs> like, you decap, know, yeah. decap, 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 decap. It was fact. like, bro. No, yeah. for sure. Bro, I love you, it. You, you guys are so legendary, bro. So, so I wanna, we, we want to give y'all y'all flowers. Yeah, for sure. Talk, if if yeah, no one like, will, yeah. definitely, it feels like we sometimes overlook some of the people that are very, very, very important to our community. So shout out to both of y'all. Yeah, I just want to say real quick, uh -huh. Nam. Doing this pod. I'm telling you, like, I've, I've been looking forward to this even more than them. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Bro, when wow. you recognize yeah. us, bro, Dog. after you walked no, away, man. I was like, that didn't happen. Yo, yo, let me say, DCAT, so we was on stage and uh, <sighs> yeah. and we're doing our pod, you know, it's a live pod, we're doing it in front of people. Yeah. You and all we saw was DCAT. He's like, I didn't even know he was that tall. He's like, oh, man. Decap. Like, what the fuck? I'm in, the of a, I'm in the middle of a damn rain. He's like, oh wow, decap. I turn around, I'm like, decap. <laughs> <laughs> we all just like, yeah, like yo, it was so crazy, yeah. yo, and then, for and sure, then the man. The second go around when it, you both came uh, and we were doing the interview, that was such a blessing, bro. That was a super blessing. That was a super blessing, bro. Shit. Thank you guys so, so much. Thank you. Man. You know, to thank wrap you. this thing up, you know, um, I really want to let you guys know. I really do appreciate you guys coming here, man. And like, I wanted y'all to also meet me as a person. And yeah. sure. I want you to know, like, yo, dude, I do this YouTube thing and stuff like that. And I know sometimes you, you meet the person and it's like, oh yeah, this guy's a douche. And mm -hmm. I really care about what you guys do. Like, I really care about, um, you know, the community. And like, that's why I share your stuff. Like, I yeah. genuinely like, I genuinely like 
our platform, as far as mm-hmm. help me Devon, just to support everybody that we really mess with, that be like, yo, trust this person. Like this person's Absol- legit. Yeah, absolutely. So I just love to have you guys in here because I want them to see that camaraderie. Yeah, like yeah. I feel like our industry is literally brand new, right? Yeah. Like as far as the producers and stuff like that. So I want to make sure that that I'm leading with example in the sense of like, yo, support each other. You know, I want to <laughs> I want to support y'all and stuff like that. So and, and kudos man. to all three of y'all Likewise. because um as I've been as I've been saying to Dev all day throughout um this Nam Day for sure. A very th- a big thing that gets overlooked in our industry is the fact that we're human, bro. Like oh, yeah. us as engineers and producers and artists, we're like I know, like you know, from the audience perspective, from the general consumer sp- perspective, it's like, oh my god, listen to what Dev, listen to what Decap, listen to what LJ mm. just made. Oh my god, Steven Universe is just fucking yeah. fire. Right. We're human. We love we love these same TV shows. We love these same life experiences that you do, and. I want to thank Dev for sure. I've not done this live, so I want to thank Dev. Um, and I also want to thank Decap and LJ for being a part That's of a it. That's a fact. fact. Um, this is a space of of humans, mm. guys. Like, you know, we're we're people just like you guys, and we have real conversations. We have real lives. Yeah. So this this means a lot to, just, sure. to mm-hmm. just be here, guys. For sure. So, so for you know, sure. to basically yeah. just wrap it up, you know, I just want you guys to, you know, if you, you got anything, like, do you have anything that's coming out next? Um, Please, you know, obviously the social media stuff. But if you guys have, do you guys have anything coming up next? Like, what's yeah, going knock on premium. with you guys? Like, right, knock <laughs> premium. Knock the plus. knock, yeah. the, the knock yeah. subscription. Like yeah, bundle? like I'll go to uh, don't know subscription. Oh God, subscription. Let's go. Uh, so yeah, so. I mean, right now it, it's plugins at knock. I got knock out there sure. in the clipper, and uh, yes. I recently just put out drums at knock X. <sighs> yeah, and so Yo. that's that's coming to splice this year. Right, nice. And yes, um, and as far as the future, like. I mean, I I have some music releases coming up. Yeah, mm-hmm. I've been I've been working on a lot of house music lately. I, we know. I was gonna nice. say like, yeah. I know yeah. like you just working on the house. I'm not love yeah. it, bro, because my vibe is kind of pushing yeah. that way too. Like, yeah. I love the vibe, and it's, it's really cool. What you're doing. Yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. DJ by any chance? I don't know. You oh, feel I, you I, give I, me a vibe exactly. like you. Yeah. I don't know. Like, like it would be like, a hard party. Yeah, I do. I do enjoy. Like I don't. I don't do it. Like I don't go out touring or anything like that. But I'll DJ a party. Got you. Okay. 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 So um and um yeah, what's the website so they can. Where they can get knock and stuff like that. So it's uh, plugins at knock.com. Right. Um, and, you know, knock is up there, knock clipper, right. and all the drums at knock. Got Super you, dope. man. Appreciate that. Dre, yeah. you know, what you got going on? Obviously, once again, congratulations on that project, dude. Like, that's really, really yeah, a big man. deal. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank um, you, you know, man. anything else you got coming up, or it's, it, do you want to just let them know what the project is? Please say the name of the project, by the way, in the whole not Oh, so Lo Fi Symphony. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's out now. Um, you know, incredible. <laughs> yeah. major, major I've label to it a couple, a couple times. Let's go. The biggest classical man. label of all time. That's Fire. right. But That's um, right. yeah. Besides Fire. that, uh, for my for my producers, you know, I'm doing drum kits too. You know, I'm a little guy. Hey. Hey. <laughs> but 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 I just want to say, I got a text that that made me the happiest dude in the world when I dropped huh. LJ Drum Kit Volume Three. My guy Decap said, "Yo, this is the best lo-fi drum kit." Wow! Look at that. Yeah. And I was yep. like, "Hey, so it's stamped. Yep, I, it's I'm stamped. in the game. I'm sliding yeah. over there. I'm not be honest. Sure. I got, yep. I got I to go. Well, I didn't know. The rims I'm going. I know the I'm rims. In the game. Is. Prod, it's prod by LJ LJ drum kits, man. Say less. Sure. Say less. So All right. So y'all, wait. Oh, okay. I'd like to add something. Okay. Uh, FL oh, is this camera on me? Yeah. Uh, so this episode was sponsored by. Universal Audio. Obviously, we're not at the studio. Wow. We didn't address this. It's okay. We're I was going to put this in the, in the very front. I was going to put a bumper let's, in the front. Let's, we might as well. But do yeah, it. but the, you know, um, they, shout take, out. they yeah. took care of us. I don't think they're getting this mic back, but they might get the rest of those. <laughs> <laughs> um, but shout out to y'all. Thank you. Um, yeah, thank you so yeah. much. For this, you and know, go download Luna. That's Ooh, true. I, we were talking myself. about Luna. That was on our third, fourth podcast that we talked right. about. <laughs> but yeah, you know, big shout out to um, the sponsors that did come through for us. You know, um, you know, I asked a few people. You know, to kind of so, sponsor yeah. us, and it was so so as far as the, the podcast and stuff like that. And I found it so funny that I realized that there's so many companies, dude, that yeah. are just not tapped in to mm-hmm. the culture That's of like it. what we have. I'm it's like, just oh, you have no idea. It is so okay. shout out to Avid because they did sponsor us and yes. provide us with the inbox studio. Awesome. I, okay. I literally went to these people, asked them. I didn't say, yo, what you got? I literally said, yo, I love this piece. Yada, yada. They looked yeah. out. Mm-hmm. So thank you for Avid for seeing and the value, yes. you know, in our podcast and our platform. Bring us out here. Yeah. Fa- that for too. Sure. Brought, yeah, yeah, right? us out thank here. You. And um, also shout out to UA, UA dude, like yeah, for, for sure. providing us the mics and stuff like that. And that's a new relationship we've kind of been building, but um, we love their stuff. And now I just like that. I like companies that are that are interested and just like yo, we like what you guys are doing. I really respect companies that respect us. Like yeah, Texas back, mm-hmm. y'all. Like yeah. just yeah, text yeah, back. yeah. Not even you ain't got to you ain't got to text us back. I'll reach out and you know and I'll let you know like yo, like we really like your now stuff. It's different stuff. when they DM back though. 
It do. It, yeah, it does. It but does. <laughs> conversation for a, nah, a different day. Don't yeah, give them that sure. value, man. Don't give them that. No, 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 no. <laughs> right? Like, I, come on. I'm not letting us give them, give them game on like how to approach them with sports. So, but because I know y'all, we get that all day. But nonetheless, guys, this is the My Audio Nerds podcast. Um, it has been such an absolute pleasure to be here and just talking to you guys once again. Make some noise for Decap and LJ one yeah. more time. Please thank make you, some you. noise for them. Uh, please Thank make sure you. you comment, like, and subscribe. Also, make sure you follow us at Help Me Devon, and also make sure you rate us on Spotify as well as Apple Music or anywhere you listen to podcasts. This has been the My Audio Nerds Podcast. I'm so excited about this. Good night, y'all. Peace.